Okay, so I'm meeting somebody on a date and I came to the wrong restaurant. Like the right restaurant is about 25 minutes away and it's in Brooklyn. So I'm currently in Chelsea at a different restaurant with a similar name. And this is the second time I've done this. Not to the same guy, but to a different guy. And it's honestly embarrassing. So we are currently at the Jane Hotel. I came straight here after my date to meet up with my friends and Good morning. It's almost noon. I'm getting dressed. I'm not going to wear this because, well, I'm not going to wear only this because it's cold outside. I'm going to layer. But right now, I'm just doing my hair and makeup, getting ready to go out. I'm going to meet my friends because one of them is apartment hunting and I'm nosy. So I want to see like what kind of apartments he's looking at. And that should be fun. So cheers. Let's get ready to go. Best concealer ever. Okay, so it's always my plan to put a sweatshirt over this outfit. Um, here's what I was thinking of doing. So let's just try it on and see what it's giving. Um, I'm going for peak warmth and comfort today because it's fucking cold outside. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I'm not in love with it, but I'm I'm gonna show you guys so you can like see what it's looking like. It's not the best. Okay, so that's not good. This is bad. Uh, so I'm gonna look for a different sweatshirt to put over this. Okay, option number two is this Kitsy Ghost sweatshirt that I got from Clap Bob Camp Blog Now. Okay, let me just try it on and see what it's giving. I don't know. These hands might not work. I might end up having to wear different pants. But they're just so comfy. Okay, let's see, let's see. 
Now, I'm not, I'm not very optimistic about this one, honestly, because I'm, really, I'm realistic. I think I might just need to get different pants. Like, it's not giving what it said it would give. Well, actually, it's giving a little bit. It's giving a little bit, but it's not like a serve, you know? It's a partial, partial serve, partial slay. I feel like if the pants were a bit more flared, Versus this like weird skinny thing that they're doing, it might be a better look. I'm also incredibly late, as I always am, because um, I have time blindness. I'm supposed to leave my apartment right now, and I'm nowhere close to being ready to get the fuck out. Um, cause it takes it's gonna take me about forty minutes to get to where I want to go, and I'm meeting my friends at one thirty. It's currently twelve forty. <laughs> I need to be out the door. Okay, this is the outfit. It's like, it's not that impressive. It's just fucking flare pants, some sneakers, and a sweatshirt. Okay. This is a brown lip. I haven't used this one in a minute. This is such good lighting for a lobby. <laughs> yeah. What would you make on this stove? A turkey burger. And <laughs> <laughs> a fried egg. Yeah. It's like bacon, like yeah. another yeah. fully Grills. stocked yeah. fridge. Wait, this is like. So this has an ice maker? Yep. Yes. Nice. Very important. If y'all come closer, is that all right? Would you mind? We can still be closely distant around here. We need to end. That's what we want today, you know? I'm not like a makeup person, so I do my eyeliner like weird.
and I'm ready to take my hair down. Makeup is all done. Uh, my lips, I'm gonna add gloss in a bit, and then we'll like see how that looks. But I think I like it without the gloss, so we'll see. Oh, it's giving. It's giving. The girls are giving. Down in the fire. The girls get naked. Oh, um, I can't dance. I can dance. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, put your back right here. I really like this one. Put your back right here and let up right here. It's even really party, girls. Rage. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is off the and we need to discuss how Kylie at some level is a part of it. It's a very big deal. <laughs> So this is the process of me getting ready. Um, oh snap, hold on. I'm about to just like set my makeup foundation really quickly. I wanna show off my outfit. I don't know if it's giving what I think it's giving, but I guess we're gonna find out together. So, hey, okay, this is the outfit. I wore this silk button down shirt, black. <laughs> Do I keep opening my out? I wore this black silk button down shirt with a corset top i don't know i don't know it's like scary but i've seen it like all over social media really and some black jeans and i'm gonna wear some boots with them like black booties all black fit but i just i think the corset is given if not i'll look back on this moment and cringe and embarrassment in a couple years um but i'm gonna head off to my makeup did it right when I went to bed but the curls are gonna fall they're gonna fall and it'll be whatever
The way my hand is shaking. <laughs> You guys, I have a story to tell. Oh my God. So last night we went to catch for after dinner turn up because we had dinner at Kokomo for Sydney's birthday, pre-birthday dinner. And then we went to catch for like the after dinner turn up, woo woo, party, party. And um, it was like a group of us. And I was looking for my friends at one point during the night. So I was like walking around and like while I was walk walking around looking for my friends, I ran into this white guy. <laughs> like he wouldn't leave me alone. He was just like on me. And I would look to the right, he was right there. Look to the left, he was right there. So he was like my shadow for the entire night basically. And he like bought me a drink, we we're talking. He was just saying stuff about how he works in finance. He makes half a mil, he's 25. And he's ready to settle down. He's at that stage in his life where he wants to settle down. I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. He goes, he really wants to take me on a date. Like, he likes me a lot. I'm so beautiful. He loves me. <laughs> and I, was just like, I was like, where are we going? I was I was humoring him. I was humoring him. And um, I was like, okay, so plan a date. Where are we going? Like, so he wanted to go to Nobu. And I was like, okay, fine. I'll think about it. But I'm really leaning towards Bond Street. And his phone was dead, so he couldn't get my number. And I pulled my phone out, and I was like, what's your Instagram? Like, in the morning, he can wake up. Like, if he remembers, he can see my photo and be like, oh, yeah, this is the girl that I want to take on a date. And then this, I followed him. He had a private account, so, like, I had to request. And then this morning, around 11 a.m., he accepted my follow request. He followed me back. And then he DM'd me and said, let's go out for drinks this week. And of course, I'm like, oh, wow, he remembers. So I responded to him. I was like, oh, you remembered what day? And then I was curious and I said, you know what? Let me go on his page and like just go through his pictures because like naturally I'm nosy. I go on his page. Tell me why his page, I got the prompt that said user not found. User not found. So at first I was like, maybe it's my Wi-Fi. Maybe my Wi-Fi is off. I turn the Wi-Fi off and then I'm using my data. I go on his page again. It still says user not found. So I'm like, what the f***? So I go on my Finsta, and I type in his username on my Finsta, and it comes up. This man blocked me. He blocked me. He blocked me right after asking me out. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Like, why would anyone do that? That is so weird. Is that, like, a thing that men do? Can somebody tell me if that's normal? You just, like, ask somebody out, and then you block them? But f*** him. That's weird.